Hey, good morning, friends. Uh, it's Christine, and I'm glad to be with you for our Sunday School lesson. So today's lesson is part two of Jonah in the Big Fish for January 31st. Can you believe it's the end of January already? Oh, I cannot. And it's another snowy Sunday morning. So you might not be watching this Sunday morning, but yep, we woke up to some snow again. All right, so for this morning, you will need your January 31st bag and whoopsie, and either some masking tape or if you have maybe um, a glue dot, glue dots, then you will need a Sharpie and a pencil. All right, so if you need to go grab that stuff, you can pause the video and grab it. All right, have your things. Well, let us read the story again from our Bible. So we are in our Spark Story Bible on page 193. 193. Okie dokie. All righty, let's see. All right, Jonah and the big fish. Okay, you can follow along. So one day when Jonah was just minding his own business, God spoke to him. Jonah said, or God said, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell the people that I know they aren't living the way I want them to. I want them to change their ways. Jonah may have started with the right idea, but once he started walking, Jonah began thinking about what a long walk it was to Nineveh. Hmm, Jonah thought, I don't really want to go to Nineveh. I'll go the other way. God will never know. Hmm. So Jonah walked and walked away from Nineveh. When Jonah got to the sea, he paid to get onto a boat to take him even further away. <sighs> Jonah yawned. All that walking made me tired. I'm going to take a nap. All right, we'll turn the page. Jonah curled up on a pile of rope and fell asleep. But God saw Jonah. Whoosh. God sent a strong wind that tossed the ship to and fro. The sailors were so afraid that they started throwing things overboard to make the boat lighter and save themselves. The sailors worried, what's going on? They woke Jonah up. God is mad at me for not listening, Jonah said, so throw me overboard. And they did. Suddenly, the sea was calm again. Look out, Jonah. Here comes a big fish. Boop, boop, boop. The fish swallowed Jonah, and Jonah sat inside the dark, smelly fish for three days and three nights. Jonah prayed, help me, God. I'm sorry. Finally, the fish spit Jonah out on the beach. Jonah went to Nineveh. He told the people what God had said, and they believed him and changed the way they were living. God was happy that the people of Nineveh were now living as God wanted. The end. Okay, whoopsie. So, why do you think Jonah didn't listen, want to listen to God? Maybe just because he didn't want to, right? Or he's human, right? Because we all kind of mess up sometimes, don't we? Do you think it's hard sometimes to listen? Yeah, maybe when mom or dad says, clean your room and you don't want to, right? Yep. Yep, sometimes it is hard to listen. But once Jonah was inside the big fish, what do you think he thought about? 
Hmm. What would you think about if you were inside the belly of a big fish? Hmm. I bet he was hungry, right? Probably not a lot of yummy things to eat inside of a fish. Probably thought about, oh, who's going to save me? How am I going to get out? Probably started thinking, oh, maybe I should have done what God told me to do in the first place. Hmm? So when he was wrapped in the belly of the big fish, did God leave him alone or was God there with him? Right. God was there with him. God is always with us, even in the hardest times, right? So how did Jonah feel when he was spit out of the fish? What do you think? Yeah, he probably was happy, right? I would have been happy too. Mm-hmm. So what did he do next? What did he do after he got spit out of the fish? Right, he just started walking to Nineveh, right? He started, he started doing what God had told him to do in the first place. And that was to go to Nineveh this way instead of going the other way, right? So God wraps us, right? He wraps us in love each day, each day as we make our way into the world or in the world. Each day God is with us. So we are going to make a fun whale toss game to help us remember the story of Jonah. So open up your bags, okay, and get your cup. We need to poke a hole in the bottom of our cup. And that's why I said you could have a pencil to do that. So you can take your pencil and then jam and poke it in there. So let me see if I can get that right there for you guys to see. So ready? Whoa! Maybe that was a little harder than I thought. Oh, it started to make a hole. Come on. Woo! Okay, then you might have to straighten it out. But I got the hole. See? You jammed it in there. You got, you got your hole. All right? Okay. So now, step two is we're going to take our string, and it might be kind of long. You can shorten it if you need to, but, all right. Okay, we're going to take our string and put it through our hole, put it in our hole, okay. And then you should see it in here. So, and then we're gonna grab it. All right. And then we're gonna take it and we're gonna tie. So it's through, see, through our hole. And then we're gonna tie it up here. Whoops. We're gonna take it here and then we're gonna tie it. Okay. So. We're going to just make a knot. See? And maybe you need mom or dad to help you with this part. So, I'm going to tie, whoopsie. Tie a knot. See? Like that. Okay? Tie a knot. All right. <clears throat> then we're going to take our eyes out, our fish eyes, and then we're going to tape them attach our eyes to the side of our whale. So if you have blue dots or tape, you can use tape. Whoopsie. Come on, whoopsie. Why am I doing this? Then we're going to attach our eyeballs. Well, right now my eyeball does not want to attach. So masking tape, or if you have a glue dot, 
and I'm having issues right now with mine. So, oh, Christine, maybe I've got to open this up a little here. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's see. Put my glue dot on an eyeball, or if you have tape, then you can put one eyeball, whoopsie, one eyeball on, there's one eyeball, and then on the other side, you can put your other eyeball, right? Butter, my kitty Butter, it wants to come up and see what's happening. She, He might come up here. And then put your other eyeball on there. So see, I got my eyeballs on. All right, then we are going to take our balloon and we are gonna draw with our shop, shoppy, draw with our Sharpie a stick person who's gonna be Jonah, okay? So, here we go. Let me show you here if I can do it this way. What? Okay. I'm going to draw a head. Oh, this Sharpie obviously does not work. Oh, my goodness. Let me find another. Let me find another Sharpie. Sharpies. Usually we have Sharpies galore in this house. I don't even know. Oh, here comes Butterscotch. Hey, Butter. Oh, he sees the string, guys. He wants to play with the string. Okay, here, let's do this. So I'm going to draw my Jonah. So you can just draw like a stick person. Probably do it better than me because I'm kind of not looking how I'm doing it. Okay, there's my Jonah. All right, and now we're going to take our end of our string, and we're going to take our balloon here, and we are going to tie, tie this together. Tie our string to the end of our balloon. Okay, and now we have our whale toss game. So this, uh, if the string is too long, this is kind of crazy long, then you can shorten it, okay? Um, so just for this lesson, I'm going to shorten it a little just to show you how you play with this game, okay? So we're gonna get Jonah our buddy Jonah, we're gonna get him into the whale spelly. Okay, so see, like what you do is you try to catch him and I did it! So do you see that? All right, let me try to stand up and do it so you can see it. So yeah, if you need to shorten it, you can shorten it. So here I go. Woo, I did it! So it's a little game now. See if you can get your Jonah into the belly of the fish or whale. Woo! So kind of fun. So that is our fun activity for today. So let us close in a prayer. All right. So after each sentence, I want you to say, help me God to listen. So let's try that. Repeat after me. Help me God to listen. Now your turn. Help me God to listen. Good job. So let's try this. Dear God, the story of the big fish is really a whopper. Now your turn. Help me, God, to listen. All right. Butter wants to be here. You had a big job for Jonah. Help me, God, to listen. You have big jobs for us, too. Help me, God, to listen. Thank you for wrapping us in your love no matter what happens. Help me, God, to listen. Amen. All right, thanks for joining me with this lesson in Butterscotch 2. 
So bye-bye. We will see you next week for sure. Thanks.